Hello learners, welcome back to our YouTube channel. Myself Simran from Team Cloud EML and today we are going to start with the aptitude training session number 7 and in this session we are going to review the questions asked by the company TCS in their aptitude round. So let's begin. So this is the first question. We are going to cover total three to four questions of each type, one of quantitative, one of logical, and the third one of verbal reasoning. So let's begin with the first question, which is of the type quantitative aptitude. So first let's read and understand the question. The question says, two bus tickets from city A to city B and three tickets from city A to city C cost 77 but three tickets from city a to b and two tickets from a to c cost rupees 73 so what are the fares for the cities b and c from a so first let's graphically understand the question okay so that we can move ahead with the solution so what it says is that two tickets from city a to b so let's consider that city A to B, the price, okay, the fare of the ticket from city A to B, uh, let it be as X, okay, and the fare from city A to C, B, Y, correct? So we have two bus tickets from city A to B. And three tickets from A to C cost rupees 77, which means the equation will be formed as 2x plus 3y is equals to 77, which means two tickets from city A to B plus three tickets from city A to C cost rupees 77, which is which has been given in the question. But three tickets from city A to B and two tickets from city A to C cost rupees 73. Now this is the inverse case. Now three tickets from A to B and two tickets from A to C cost rupees 73. So we what we have to find it find out in this case what are the fares for cities B and C from A which means we simply have to find out the values of X and Y. So let's see how to solve. So if you notice then these two are simultaneous equations in two variables. This is a topic that we have learned in algebra in school, which is simultaneous equations in two variables because the, there are two variables x and y. And by solving these two simultaneous equations, we will get the value of x and y. Okay, so. First, let's write out the two equations again, which is 2x plus 3y is equal to 77. And the second one is 3x plus 2y is equal to 73. So what we have to do in this case is, first, as you can see, 2 and 3, 2 and 3 are common. So we need to find out the uh, factors which, which, will, uh, which will, by multiplying, which we will get go closer to the uh, most least common multiple between the two numbers. So if you find out the LCM of the two numbers, which are 2 and 3, the LCM is 6. Why? Because the factors of 2 or the factors of 6 are 2, 3, 6 and 1. Correct? And if you calculate the multiples of 2, you will be getting 2, 4, 6, 8, etc. And similarly, the multiples of 3 are 3, 6, 9, etc. So the least common multiple here is 6, correct? So the LCM of 2 and 3 is 6. So what we will do is we will uh, calculate, we will just multiply one of the variables with the number, with the, uh, with the opposite numbers and we will calculate the equation in such a way. So what we will do is we will multiply the first equation by 2 and the second equation by 3 so that the y variable will have the coefficient as 6. 
So perform the multiplication. Multiply 2x by 2, we will get 4x plus 6y is equals to multiply 77 by 2, you will get 14 and 15, 154, correct? Similarly, we will multiply the second equation by 3, which will give 9x plus 6y is equals to uh, 9, 219, okay, okay? So now what we will do is we will just simply subtract the equations. Why? Because uh, by subtracting, the 6y term will get cancelled out and we will be remaining uh, with the x term, okay? So subtract, for subtraction what we do? So simply this will get cancelled out, 6y will get cancelled out and uh, subtract to 19 from 154, you will get 5, 6, 65 here and 5x, right? So the value of x will be 65 divided by 5 which is nothing but 13, if I'm not wrong, yes, x will be 13. So you get the value of x here. And now you can substitute the value of x in any of the equation. Let's substitute it in the first equation. So you will have 2 into 13 plus 3y is equals to 77, correct? This was the first equation, this one. So now uh, 2 into 13 is 26 plus 3y is equals to 77. Now what you will, you will do, you will simply subtract 77. Uh, you will subtract 26 from 77. So 77 minus 26, which will be 51. And now the value of y will be 51 divided by 3, uh, which is 27. Sorry, 17. Okay, see. 3, 3 ones are 3, you get 2 and 7. So y value is 27. So the final answer is 13 is x and y is 17 which means the price of A to B is 13 and A to C is 17. Let's check out the options. Yes, so you have the option number B, which is the correct answer, rupees 13 and rupees 17. Okay, so this was the solution of the first question. Let's move ahead with the second question. What is the product of all the numbers in the dial of a telephone? And you have been given certain options, okay? 1,050, uh, 1,58,480, 1, 1,59,450, and 1,59,480, and also none of these. So, uh, let us understand that what all numbers are present on the dial of a telephone. So, if you have seen a dial, first you have the numbers 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and in the middle you also have a 0. So 0 and your, I guess you have a hash and a star. So if you consider all these numbers, then 0 is also present. And anything which is multiplied by 0 will always give you 0. So that is why whenever you multiply all of these numbers, you will simply get a 0. Because whatever product will be obtained over here, it will be multiplied by 0. And anything multiplied by zero is always a zero, zero. So that is why the answer for this question will be none of these because zero is not present in the option. So the answer will be none of these. This is the third question, which is of verbal reasoning. He said to his father, please increase my pocket money. Give the indirect speech. Okay, so what is direct and indirect speech? Here, if you notice, then it is said that he said to his father and simply a sentence is given in quotes, okay? And uh, we have to convert this into indirect speech. Direct speech means, uh, suppose you and I are talking something. So that will become direct speech. And indirect speech is some third person listens to our talk and he goes somewhere and tells that, Whatever we both are, uh, we both spoke, he goes and tells that to some third person. So that is called indirect speech. Okay, so now we have to convert this given sentence into indirect speech. So for converting it, we have given four options. Let's go all through all these four options and find out the correct option. 
the first option is he told his father please increase the pocket money so if you see here also uh, inverted quotes are present so this can't be an indirect speech this is also a direct speech so option 1 is eliminated the next option is he pleaded his father to please increase my pocket money so here also please is also repeated again okay but um, this option will also not be valid because here please increase my pocket money is given as it is which is wrong because you will not go to a third person and say that he pleaded his father to please increase his pocket money please was used by this son to you know uh, create an emphasis on the sentence but you will not say please when you go and tell the same sentence to some third person so that is why the sentence b is also not valid the third is he requested his father to increase his pocket money so here whenever you have <clears throat> please in your direct speech you should convert it to requested in indirect speech why because please saying please to someone is an action to request someone correct so he requested his father to increase his pocket money is the correct answer of this question because it suits appropriately to the question and the fourth is also he asked his father to increase his pocket money but asked will not come over here because here we have considered please so please is not equivalent to asking something it is equivalent to requesting something so that is the reason option 4 is also not valid and the correct option is option number 3 which is he requested his father to increase his pocket money let's move ahead with the fourth question here it is a logical reasoning question which says look at this series 21 9 21 11 21 13 21 and what number should come next and these are the four options that are given so this question is for you you can comment down the solution in the comment section do properly analyze the series that has been given find out that what pattern is present in the series and according to that pattern you can find out the next number so do comment down the solution we will let you know whether your answer was right or wrong so in this video we have completed three questions first of quantitative aptitude next of logical and then of verbal reasoning and also i have given you another question that you need to answer by yourself so thank you for watching this video i hope you liked it do like the video share it and subscribe the channel thank you.